the sum of n arithmetic sequence. The term of n arithmetic sequence can be added to form an arithmetic series. Let as n equal a plus a plus d a plus 2d plus the last term a plus m minus 1d. This is equation 1. Writing the sum in reverse order, we get as n equal a plus m minus 1d plus a plus 2D, A plus D, and last term plus A. This is equation 2. Next, we add equation 1 and equation 2. We get 2SN equal 2A plus N minus 1D plus 2A plus M minus 1D. We have n term of 2a plus n minus 1d. So, 2sn equal n 2a plus n minus 1d. So, for sn, we divide both side by 2. So, we get sn equal n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. This is the formula to find the sum of the first n term of arithmetic sequence. As n equal n over 2, 2a two plus n minus 1d. So, we let 2a inform a plus a. So, we have as n equal n over 2, a plus a plus n minus 1d. Since the last term L equal A plus N minus 1D, so we get SN equal N over 2 A plus L. We use this formula if the last term L is given. So SN can also be written as SN equal N over 2 a plus L. Example 6. Find the sum of all integers between 100 and 200 that are multiple of 6. What we are doing is we find the number of term first. The multiple of 6 between 100 and 200. We can now list all the possible multiple of 6 between 100 and 200 that is 102 108 114 and the last term is 198 from this sequence we get a equal 102 d equal c we subtract 102 from 108, we get 6. So, the last term is 198. So, we let Tn equal 198. Tn equal 198. Tn is A plus M minus 1D equal 198. We substitute A equal 102 and D equal 6 and we get 102 plus M minus 1 times D equal 198. We simplify and the last we get the answer N equal 17. So, they are 17 multiple of 6 between 100 and 200. Now, we use the formula for the sum of the first n term of arithmetic sequence as n equal n over 2 to a plus n minus 1d. We substitute a equal 102, d equal 6 and n equal 17. So, as 17 equal 17 over 2, 2 times 102 plus 17 minus 1 times 6 and we get the answer is 2550
So, the sum of all integers between 100 and 200 that are multiple of 6 is 2,500. Example 7. The tenth term of an arithmetic sequence is negative 25. And the sum of the first 10 term is 65. Find the first term, the common difference, and the sum of the first 20 term. Okay, we read the question first. From the first sentence, the 10th term of an arithmetic sequence is negative 25. So, we let T10 equal negative 25. T10, N equal 10. So, we substitute N equal 10 into the nth term formula. So, we get... A plus 9D equal negative 25. That is the first equation. Next, the sum of the first 10 terms is 65. So, we let S10 equal 65. N equal 10. We substitute into the sum of the first N term formula. And we get 10 over 2, 2A plus 10 minus 1D equals 65. We simplify and we get 2A plus 9D equals 13. This is equation 2. Remember that equation 1 is A plus 9D equal negative 25. To solve, we subtract. Equation 1 from the equation 2 and we get A equal 38. To find D, we replace A equal 38 into equation 1. We simplify and we get D equal 7. Sorry, D equal negative 7. So, the first term is 38. And the common difference is negative 7. The sum of the first 20 terms is S20. To find S20, we substitute N equal 20, A equal 38, and D equal negative 7 into SN formula. We simplify and last we get the answer negative 570. So the sum of the first 20 terms is negative 570. Example 8. The sum of the first 15 terms of arithmetic sequence is 255 and the sum of the next 15 terms is 705. Find the first term, the common difference and the 50th term. Okay. From the first sentence, the sum of the first 15 terms of arithmetic sequence is 255. So, we let S15 equal 255. N equal 15 we substitute into SN formula and then we simplify. We have 2A plus 14D equal 34. This is first equation or this is equation 1. Okay, the next sentence of the question is the sum of the next 15 terms is 705. Okay, the first 15 term is 255 and the next 15 term, so we plus 15 and then the next 15 term is 705, so 705 we plus 2, 255. So, we have S30 equal 960. N equal 30, so we substitute into SN formula. 
So we we simplify and we get following equation 2a plus 29d equals 64. This is equation 2. Equation 1 is 2a plus 14d equal 34. So, to solve, we subtract equation 1 from equation 2. And we get d equal 2. Next, we can find a. To find a, we substitute d equal 2 into equation 1. And then we simplify, we get A equal 3. So, the first term is 3 and the common difference D is 2. The term is T50. N equal 50. We substitute N equal 50, A equal 3 and D equal 2 into N term formula. And then we simplify. And we get the answer 101. So, the 50 term is 101. Application of arithmetic sequences. Example 9. Iman settles her debt of RM4980 by paying RM50 at the end of the first month. And for the following month, she pays RM8 more than the previous month. Find A. How long will Iman take to settle her debt? B. The amount of the last payment she makes. From this situation, we know that A equal 50 because Iman pays RM50 at the end of the first month. Next. Iman pays RM8 more than the previous month. Hence, D equal 8. Okay. First month. At the end of the first month, Iman pays RM50. Next, second month. Iman pays RM8. Eight more than the previous month. So, that is 58. Okay. How long will Iman take to settle her debt? RM4980. Okay. A equal 50. D equal 8. Okay. So, we substitute A equal 50. D equal 8 into SN formula. We let SN equal 4980. We simplify and we get 2N squared plus 23N minus 2490 equal 0. This is quadratic equation. To solve quadratic equation, we factorize and we get the value of n. n equal negative 41.5 and n equal 30. Two value of n. And then we ignore the negative answer. So, Aina take 30 months to settle her debt. Next, the amount of the last payment she makes is T30. We substitute N equal 30, A equal 50 and D equal 8 into N term formula. And then we get RM282. So, the last payment Iman makes is RM282.